Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Folks, thank you, citizen. Thank you. Folks, you know, we, we work hard, you know? And here's, here's our job. This is what I believe our job is. We come out here night after night, and we do our best to cut through all the noise, you know, all the chaff, all the lies. Just call a thing what it is. No focus group, no messaging. I think it comes out the talk hole. <laughs> after I read it off the little thing here. And that is one of the things I admire most about President Joe Biden. He's a straight shooter. Well, after a year of holding his tongue in the face of constant criticism, last night he expressed his true feelings about Fox News White House correspondent <laughs> and winner of the Blandest Blonde Man and <laughs> Blondest Bland Man Awards, <laughs> Sir Peter Ducey. Biden was uh, meeting with members of his administration to discuss the ongoing problem of inflation when Ducey tried to squeeze in what I suppose could be described as a question. Do you think inflation is a political liability? That's a great asset. More inflation. What a stupid son of a bitch. What a stupid son of a bitch. Unbelievable. That's right. Old Joey's back. I've reached peak old man, given zero malarkeys. Peter Ducey is a stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> Cousin Alice is tuna noodle casserole, wet. <laughs> the baby's got a pointy head, weird little gremlin. <laughs> the media, it was actually me. The media <laughs> has described this moment as a hot mic. I'm not sure why it's a hot mic when he's at a press conference in front of a bunch of reporters talking into the same microphone he's been using the entire time. <laughs> That's like a celebrity walking the red carpet, popping open their shirt and going, oops, nip slip. <laughs> Later that night, Biden did something I forgot presidents could do. He apologized, because he's a gentleman, as young Master Ducey explained. Within about an hour of that exchange, he called my cell phone, and uh, he said, it's nothing personal, pal. And then he told me, I gotta go. And I said, okay. And he said, geez, what a jackass. And I said, I can still hear you. And he goes, <laughs> it's nothing personal, pal. <laughs> now, it is never, for the record, let me put it out there, okay? It's never appropriate for a president of the United States to have a potty mouth. But it's especially egregious to call Peter Ducey the son of a bitch. <laughs> we did some fact checking. And he's actually the son of Fox and Friends host Steve Ducey. <laughs> so if anything, he's a son of a deuce. <laughs> A, a real deuce bag, if you will. It's true. That's, we fact-checked that, Chris. On the other hand, he has tested positive for stupid in the past. Has your relationship with the president frayed to the point that you are not going to support anything that he comes to you and asks for? Why would for? you say something that stupid? Why would you ask something that dumb? McCain and Biden aren't the only important people to lose it over a stupid Peter Ducey question. It's been happening for decades. Are you a crook? And do you think that will hurt you in the midterms? Well, I am not a crook, but you sure are a dick. <laughs> this afternoon, after a visit to a small business in D.C., President Biden stopped into a local ice cream parlor to get himself a little treat. What kind of ice cream, you're wondering? Intrepid reporters reported intrepidly that it was two scoops, Light colored flavor on the bottom, <laughs> darker ice cream on the top. Or as Mitch McConnell would describe it, dark ice cream and ice cream. <laughs> so, Mitch McConnell, you see Mitch McConnell, oh! he did the. I get it. You understand? I get it. I understand. Get, you understand? I understand, you understand the premise. The, there you go. So, old man enjoys frosty treat. End of story, right? Wrong. Immediately, the right wing got their fudges in a ripple about this. Like far-right agitator Bridget Gabriel, who tweeted, the entire world is crumbling, the economy is crashing, and what is Joe Biden doing? Getting ice cream. Yes, everybody knows you can't have ice cream when you're leader of the free world. If that man gets a brain freeze, technically Kamala Harris is president until it passes. <laughs> Biden. Biden. <laughs> Kamala Harris fans. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see it. <laughs> Kamala Harris fans. Kamala. What that is. Biden has bigger problems than a hot mic and a cold treat. I'm talking, of course, about the situation in Ukraine. 
or as Vladimir Putin calls it, my crane. <laughs> Things are still pretty tense over there, but one guy who doesn't seem too concerned is Ukrainian president and man who asked his barber for the business Dracula. <laughs> Volodymyr Zelensky. Last week, Vo Zelensky had a message for the Ukrainian people. What should you do? Only one thing. Don't panic. Keep a cool head. Be confident. Be confident in our army and our Ukraine. Okay, that's a great message, but why is he saying it so far to one side? <laughs> Don't panic. You must trust army. There's no reason to have your bags packed and your car running. Ding dong. Oh, that's the doorbell. I will be back. For their part, Russia is pointing the finger at us for their looming invasion. After moving in more than 100,000 troops, Russian officials blame Western aggression for the crisis. That sounds a little backwards, but as Dostoevsky wrote, he who smelt it dealt it, he who explained it, <laughs> Ukrained it. <laughs> Some people agree with Rush Dostoevsky fans. Unbelievable. I'm an Alyosha. Some people agree with Russia, like disgraced former national security advisor and a man about to show you his box of baby teeth. Michael Flynn. <laughs> In a new op-ed for a right-wing website, Flynn claims the Biden administration has sold an illusion that the potential Russian invasion of Ukraine is not justified, reasoning that an increased NATO presence in Eastern Europe will cause an existential threat to Russia. That's Vladimir Putin's exact argument. Flynn went on to write, those who say a man can't ride a polar bear shirtless deserve poison underpants. Nipples were meant to breathe. Is that good enough, Vlad? Please don't release the pictures. <laughs> Flynn's... I don't know. I don't even know what that means. I don't... What pictures? What pictures, John? I haven't seen the pictures. Like that. Yo, oh, yeah. Sherbert. Yeah. Oh, Sherbert. Flynn's not the only right-wing apologist for the murderous dictator. There's also Fox News host Tucker Carlson, <laughs> seen here... Seen here as the green M&M melts in his mouth and his hand. <laughs> On last night's show, old trucker nuts defended people like Flynn who were rooting for Russia to invade Ukraine for the third time. Wait a second. Why is it disloyal to side with Russia, but loyal to side with Ukraine? They're both foreign countries that don't care anything about the United States. Kind of strange. No. <laughs> You're kind of strange. <laughs> Can you... What do you even say to someone who makes an argument that dumb? Shut up, Putin stooge. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. Let's go straight to that. There you go. Maybe he's being influenced by his new sponsor, Comrade Pillow. Sleep so good it make girls go wow, wow, wow. We got a great show for you tonight. My guests are Joy Reid and Thomas Middleditch. But when we come back...